Did I just get the coolest telescope ever? Now before I share the telescope with you, I want to tell you the story about how I got it. I post my astro photographs in a local Facebook group. It's got about 3,000 members and they're people that live in this area. Now one of the people in that Facebook group, they've seen my photos and they wrote to me and said, hey, I'm moving back east for one year. She got a fellowship to go teach back east, but she couldn't take her telescope and her equipment with her because it was too heavy. So she saw my photographs on Facebook and asked if I'd be willing to keep that telescope and the mount for her for the year that she's gone. Now my thought is any telescope that's too big to carry with you back east, I want it. There is a specific telescope that I've been looking at for some time. It's the telescope that I plan to buy one day when I retire. I don't have a mount that's big enough for it, and I frankly, I can't afford to buy it now. But I, in my head, I knew exactly what telescope I wanted to get one day, and sure enough, this was that exact same telescope. So for the next year, I have access to the Skywatcher Esprit 120ED, which is a telescope I couldn't even dream of owning at this point, but for one year, I now have access to it. So come along, I want to show you this telescope. I won't have a chance to use it probably for another month. I want to use it when Andromeda comes back up into the sky, catch the Rosette Nebula again, get some of those nebulas that are just so awesome in the fall, but now with that extra reach. Let's go take a look at the telescope. Let's take a look inside this crate. This telescope is so huge that it requires a crate that almost would take two people to move it. You open it up, and there she is. A thing of beauty. The Skywatcher. 120ED, the thing is huge. Also, it comes with the field flattener right over here. So I've got that ready to go. Has a diagonal if I wanna use it for visual. It's got a spotting scope right there. So here is the new telescope. I cannot wait to get it outside. I'm gonna share this telescope with you this fall as I take it out to capture some of the great nebulas that are out there in the fall sky. So here it is, the Skywatcher 120ED. I can't wait to get this thing out there. Here's my new telescope. You get the Skywatcher Esprit 120ED up here on top. Huge learning curve for this. This is the Panther telescope mount TTS 160. That's going to take me a little while to learn. The telescope, oof. If I had the right mount, I could be using that right now for some astrophotography. But a little bit of a learning curve. Tonight is the first light with this guy. I haven't had it out at all yet, so kind of excited. So I'm learning how to use the remote and all that good stuff. We got the Skywatcher Spree 120ED, and here's our plan tonight. The moon, full moon out there. Right above it to the right, you've got Jupiter. And right over my chimney fireplace you probably can't even see it is saturn so we're going to video some of that get some photographs tonight is our first chance to take this telescope out and to see what it's got so here we go let's get started all right so there's the full moon being shot through my canon eos r using the skywatcher esprit let's go ahead and bring it another direction here using the Skywatcher Esprit 120 ED. Let's bring it back to the bottom. And I'm using the Panther TT160 mount, which I am still learning. It's quite a learning curve on this guy. But having a lot of fun right now just doing planets and the moon. All right, from here we're gonna take you out and show you, uh, let's go ahead and go to Jupiter next. Feeling I have it set too dark. Nope, I don't. There it is. All right. So we have now taken it over to Jupiter. And I'm thinking you can see four moons there. We'll find out when I take it inside to check out the video I got. But there she is Jupiter, four moons. In the center. Our next stop, of course, is now to shoot over and see if we can get any video 
a Saturn. So here we go. There she is right there. Now unfortunately, we're not gonna get to see any of her rings at this focal length. So there you go, that was my first night with the new telescope. And I've gotta say, I was blown away with how crisp the moon looks through that high-end glass of the Esprit 120. Also, the Panther mount is a game changer. You don't have to polar align that thing. So it takes about five minutes to get it set up, get locked in on your target, and you're good to go for a night of astrophotography. I'll bring you more videos on the Panther mount as we go along. I look forward to an incredible nebula season. Thanks for coming out with me today, and I'll see you guys next time on Bruce Tracy Photography.